Hi everyone, it's Icy Cherry. So today I'm very excited because I'm gonna be dropping the candy cord bad bomb. Yay! I was really excited to try it and I wanted to wait till October to open them. So here we are. So I have two more after this one. I have a, a cinnamon bun, but I have two more um, candy corn. Yay! Before I drop it, I'll show you some of the rings that can be inside. So, here they are. Oh, I'm sorry, I said ring! I meant necklaces. So this is the first bad bomb with necklaces that I have ever bought. So, let's see. I love the little candy. Oh, sorry, my hands are full of dust. You can see the little candies here. The little... Uh, they made a little color at the bottom of the tub. Oh, it's gonna be a nice orangey color. And it smells... Delicious. Not delicious, but good. <laughs> Oh, I like it. I love candy corn and everything. I used to call it corn candy. I don't know, it sounds better, <laughs> but I guess the real where the real name for it is candy corn. They're so cute. Little bad bombs. I'm debating whether I should buy the survivor list. I think I talked to you about that in the other video. Like, I don't know, it's full price, $25. And you now I'm wondering, there's like little games, like they're like under $5 or five, around $5. I could buy like two or three ones instead of the survivor list and having to pay like 10 more bucks or 15 more bucks but I don't know if I should buy it it seems great it's just that I feel like maybe it's a super hard game permanent death like because one of the achievements is survive for 107 days or 107 hours I'm not sure and I was like is it like permanent death, like you die and have to start all over again? I don't like those kind of games because uh, it's, you have to start all over, like who has time for that? I want a game that's safe and I can continue my adventure, you know. I don't want to have to start all over. Like I can manage to play games that there, it's permanent death but you still keep your, some of your coins and you can upgrade yourself. It takes a long time to complete usually for me, but I like it better than having to start all over and the things save like you don't get anything out of it. It's like, I don't know. Maybe when I'm retired, I'll play those games, but like Undermine, at least you get to upgrade yourself and you know, like you can go farther in the game since you can keep your money a little bit so let's see sorry that's my knee <laughs> that rubbed against the top okay first necklace ever i never got a bracelet either <gasps> i dropped it in the water i'll have to <laughs> sorry guys i'll have to wipe it a little bit okay One size, obviously. Oh, it wasn't in the picture. I'll show you. Sorry, it's farther down. Can you see it? It's pretty cute, right?
I'll tell you how much it's worth. So the code is... Let me just get this like, oops. Like this. So it's Y, D5, N, G, C. And it's appraised for for fifteen dollars because it's plated. I'll show you right here. Fifteen dollars. Thank you guys for watching. I have three um uh, three bat bombs left. Yeah. After that, we'll be done for the bat bomb video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.